Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Prison Architect. So, I've been away for a while, and I very much apologise for that, but I had to sort a few uh, personal life issues out. But we are now back rocking and rolling, and we are back in our prison. Now, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do for this video, and then I realised that it was just really, really obvious. So... <laughs> I'm going to expand this off the bottom slightly um, and here I am going to create a workshop get prison labor going and because of the actions of this chappy I am going to be going for first of all per permanent punishment and then heading towards death row because this guy is going on death row he murdered two of my goddamn guards and that crap is not gonna fly so we've learnt from previous mistakes where we've had uh, construction complete and then the cells open out and everyone tries to rush for a escapee so this time I'm gonna solve that and not have it happen <laughs> so instead of directly uh, building across like that I'm going to build across like this. Uh, we can go out probably, I'd say, 40. And then we'll do that. That seems more than adequate. So let's get that built. And then we can work on, uh, we can work on more cells and we can work on a uh, workshop and like death row area. You need the gate open for you, do you? There you go. There is your gate open. Now we have taken in um, some medium security because I thought we could uh, withstand it, but uh, it looks like I was slightly wrong, <laughs> and that we're not quite prepared for it. Um, now what we do need, obviously, is to start the research. So we need a legal chappy um, to get all of this jazz going. And I am going to do, I'm going to be naughty and uh, do the offshore tax haven when we have 50 grand, which I don't think will be long. Um, it does only take, I think it's like 5% or something, isn't it? Yeah, it takes, I think it takes it down from like 10% to 5% or something. Something like that. Um, it's not a huge amount, but it is still helpful. Um, now we're going to get surveillance. Not going to do education right now. Um, and I'm going to get dogs. Right, now, this requires an entrance. So, I want to put it, put it there. Where are my doors? See, I still go to the objects menu. It's just, it's muscle memory. <laughs> It's complete and utter muscle memory. I can't stop myself from going to the bloody objects to find the doors. Why did they have to move it? And hey, presto, we have construction. Right. Let's strip down this wall, and I think we probably want to strip down that. Well, we're going to strip it down anyway. Um. And we are going to clone this. Now, how much do we need to fit it to fit things in? Okay, so we can fit that in. But the, I mean, we can fit the top row of that in. Um, do I really want to expand right now? No. Right, we're going to do, we'll do that for now. Um, we've got more than enough criminally insane. And we are going to build a workshop. Um, not sure how to have this. Should we have it direct access from there or should we have it behind a wall? I think direct access probably makes most the most sense. 
can have it 10 by 15 and then can we fit another one in? Yeah, we can fit two in. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that indeed. Um, do we want a shop to make our prisoners kind of a bit happier? Do you want to see? I might just extend this. I might just extend that. And then... Right, and... Oh, actually, that's an idea. There we go. I'm going to build the shop off of there. I'm going to build it off... I'm going to build it in there. It's going to be a small little thing, but I'm, I'm going to build it in there. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Let's get some walls popped in. I know we've been putting doorways in this still, but I just want to get it built. Uh, and then we'll have. See, I've gone to the ob. I've done it again, man. <laughs> I've done it, goddamn again. Uh, I imagine we'll probably like the the streamlining of traffic in this isn't amazing. <laughs> it's quite it's quite tight knitted. Um, but again, when we when we expand out, we'll uh, we'll make it double laned so that it's a lot more efficient. Because um, the Whilst the single lane obviously does save a lot of space, it really, really hurts you. How much power have we got left on our power station? Okay, that's not going to be enough. Right. What we have, that one. Okay, let's use that one. So we'll get some... Get some jazz going through there. Now, we are going to have... To start off with... We're going to... Oh, dear. What's going on? Dealt with it? Good joys. Good joys. I, <laughs> I was trying to say good boys, and I don't know why my brain had a complete fart. Complete and utter meltdown. Right. I kind of want to do eight saws. I'm going to have issues again. I wonder if that guy was an instigator. Yeah. Okay. He's legendary. That's the reason everything was so mental. <laughs> also, um... 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 What? I get that it's free... Why? Um... Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's not a good thing. <laughs> okay. Let's uh let's get rid of the free time and let's put it in the middle of there where they're doing stuff. Cause I do not want my uh my protective custody in the same place that everyone else is. That that's a really, really bad idea. Um, actually, I suppose we could put it, I suppose we can actually put it, see, I was going to go to the bloody objects menu again. Let's do that, and then let's get the shop, because then that will highlight the objects we need. Thank you very much. Shop front, make sure we do this right way round, and we'll have to wait until the wall is built, it's fine. Um, shop shelf. Now I kind of like, I kind of actually like to do this like this, because then you can see how many items you have. But that's not really going to work with that amount of space. So we'll just do it like that, and then we'll have, we need tables, but we can't fit massive amounts of tables in, so we'll just have small ones. And that'll have to do for now. <laughs> That will have to do for now. Okay, are you building? Okay, that's kind of the not the ones I wanted, but okay. Can we get the last one built, please? Thank you. Ah, uh, why are people still fighting? Stop fighting. Right, we want that way around. There we go. Right, so we have... We have that built. 
now let's get some workshop presses in. I'm going to leave two spaces um, just so that I can actually see what's being what's actually being used up because then I can make calls on efficiency so we're gonna make that bottom one and then because we know this bottom one is 10 and that one's only 9 um, vertically um, I know whatever I build in this one can fit in that one so I'll just do a clone and straight into it now that's all connected that's all connected that's all connected wonderful I really do need to go into the uh, mission file and there's a bit of there's a line of code that you can put in at the top where everything says like um, enable like forests and like enable gangs and all kinds of things um, which is only guards open doors and then the word false I will put that down in the description so that if you want to um, copy that into your uh, into your game file then uh, you can do and obviously what it does is your prisoners for gates like this where they're entering areas that they're allowed to enter they don't have to wait for a guard to um, open it for them and especially it's not so bad on prisons like this but especially on bigger prisons um, it can really really help with the flow of traffic and just help with the general flow of your prison really really well the only downside I've ever found of it is that you do have to set your prison up properly um, otherwise your prisoners will get into areas that they're not necessarily supposed to have access to <laughs> um, and that is simply done by the deployment menu of allocating your different areas um, obviously giving your um, staff only zones to where you need them um, but the the most useful one that I have ever found is um, using the access only so for example if I had if I um, had my canteen up here and I had this doorway in or you had like a route round there and like that route didn't have any metal detectors and that route did one your prisoners are going to go that way anyway because it's the shortest route but they're also going to go that way because that way didn't have any metal detectors now if I made that into access only that means that anyone that goes into it can't come out the other side unless they're guards or they're workers so hey presto you've entirely blocked their route while not impeding the rest of your prison's traffic it's a really 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 useful tool and uh, if you use it in the right way it can once again really really help with the flow of your prison's track of your prison's traffic right so obviously now the thing we have to do is start a workshop induction um, unfortunately not very many people are interested in it but still we'll get through them <laughs> um, now I'm straight away gonna allocate all the people I can to that area um, and until we actually get some uh, get some stuff going there's not really any point in making the other room um, at least we know that we can have 24 jobs between the two rooms. Is there anything else that I want to begin? I suppose I can do behavioral therapy. I can do some behavioral therapies. That'll that'll help with the uh, with the violence. Okay, we're gonna stop that one. And now, if you s if you have two programs going and they're both reasonably empty and you want to fold that into one program you can stop one program the only problem is it will have the same amount of people as it did previously the simple simple way to solve that is just to press reschedule all programs it won't actually move them unless there's obviously like a space to move them to but what it will do is reassign everyone that it needs to reassign um, to those programs how have we managed to miss that? Please use those cutters. Thank you. <laughs> How did we manage to miss that one? Wow. Uh, but a, a really important thing, when you press the reschedule all programs, 
you want to make sure that the programs aren't running otherwise it will cancel that uh, that program for that day which is not very effective okay so we have to when is that running 1 a.m. so 1 a.m. <laughs> 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Right here. Right, we're going to have to wait until that comes around for tomorrow. Um, that's rock and rolling for all that. Um, can't afford the legal prep. We can afford. Can we not afford permanent? We spend that much money. <gasps> we're in bonuses. Oh, you little bugger. Yep. Bang up, everyone. Fire department, please. Oh, shit. <laughs> We're in negative money, so we couldn't afford a fire department. Oh, crappity, crappity, crappity. Yes, please, immediately. In here. You go there. You go to the far side of it. You go over there. Holy moly. Guys you go there, you go there, you go there. I know it's going to get me injured. But I need people outside to stop it spreading. Move forward. We're getting there. <laughs> oh no. Can you please put this one out? We're nearly there. Yeah, one left. Well, balls. Okay, well, thank you, Fireman. Um, can we, like, get our prison rebuilt, please? Let's uh, get our essential walls rebuilt, please. As quickly as possible. I'm wondering, do they actually need it or do they just need flooring? I think they just need flooring. Yeah, we're all good. Wonderful. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. Awesome. Uh, is it damaged utilities? Oh, yeah. Yeah, damage them big time. Biggie, biggie time. Wow. That really hurt. That really hurt. Okay, so we need to do that. That. Uh, that. There we go. And then just the hot water. Oh, wow. Well, Smashed out all that as well. Wowza. Do they even have a builder? <laughs> I can't have ever built it. Damn. Okay. Let's uh let's let them back out. Oh bulls. See, even though I make mistakes, because I probably didn't read it. It probably says, doesn't it? Yep. Four out of four. 
Right. Um, in that case, we are going to have to expandio our prison. Bowls. Oh yeah, I navigated these guys water. That might help. Oh no! I uh, no 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 no. <laughs> Not power switches. Give them Vasa. And they probably. Oh no, they have. They have light. Okay, they just don't have light because there hasn't been any light put down. Let's give them a couple, <laughs> so we can actually see what the hell is going on down there. Okay, I am gonna station someone permanently in there. Let's get. No, let's get two in there and one in there. That'll be fine. Okay. Oh yeah, we need to reallocate it, don't we? Continue working, my pretties. Oh wow, I got wiped out as well. Eesh. Okay, so we are within reason back to normality. Do you know what I can do, actually? Let's just do that. Let's just do that. Let's just in, let's just move the whole thing one in. Because we can't really go one out. Because then we're going to be backing straight onto a fence. And that is a security hazard. Because then we can't get around the back of it. For whatever reason we might need to get around the back of it. Um, dismantle those and dismantle that that just there um, give me a jail door there and a shop front once that is built and I'll put um, I'll put short benches in there bingo problem solved And actually, because of that now, we can actually I can actually do things the way I wanted them wanted to do them. <laughs> I can actually stack my shelves properly. <laughs> I just need to dismantle them all. <laughs> Which isn't particularly helpful. At least everyone's sleeping, so we can kind of we can do what we want to do now. Right. Let's um Ah oh no, god damn it, one of our enforcement Ah One of our CIs got released. Okay, I'll recruit you in here. Got it. Are we doing... We can afford permission... Permanent... Permanent... We can afford permanent... I can't even say it now. Christ on a bike. <laughs> we can now afford permanent punishment. Jesus Christ. Right. Did we just... Ah, oh, for frick's sake. Is he... Oh, he's on his road. Oh, okay. My bad. Right. What have we got? Wow. Okay. Yeah, we're doing a goddamn shakedown. I let him get back to his cell and chill for a bit. Now, what we're going to do in here is have our shop shelves like that. That should be should be enough and then we'll have small tables down here why didn't I just put <laughs> why didn't I just put a full size table in there when I'm fitting two in anyway <laughs> come on Carl use your brain my god man Right, now, take down time. Hopefully that doesn't spook him. No, it didn't. Good. And obviously, I'm going to put him on permanent solitary confinement until I have a death row. 
Does that mean I can make him? I can make him death row. I just have, um... Oh, I don't have my mod enabled for the death row liquor. We can enable that. <laughs> I can make him death row easily. Um, actually, executing him slightly more difficult. Do you know, what? I'm gonna, I'm going to go up to thirty guards. Because I genuinely think we need it. So we're, we're. We're getting a reasonably sized prison now. So, 20, no, 30 guards for 80 prisoners. I think that's a, an alright ratio. That's what? Just, just over 3 to 1? Just over 3 to 1? Do you know what I really need to get, though? I, I should actually make a classroom. Not for education, but for tasers. What's my status on tasers? We get the armory. We might as well. We're gonna we're gonna get it in the end anyway. We really, really might as well. We're we're get we're getting to the point now where we do need tasers. Just because the the prison's becoming so big that we can't really afford to one be losing guards, two be needing multiple guards for each prisoner to take them on. Yeah, we we need we need tasers. <laughs> we need tasers. Um, what do I have my... Do I have it to fill capacity? My intake. No, I have it to fill to prisoners. Okay, how many shared capacity do we have? 92. Okay. Take on 92 prisoners then. Um, at the moment, I kind of want only half medium sec to, to minimum sec. Because I really want to get some... Get some work going in uh, in my workshop. <laughs> I think it's probably why it's kind of named the workshop. Uh, yeah, but you, why why are you in here? You need to be in. Go on, get in that wing. <laughs> oh, they're all happy now because they're going to get fed. What is going on with this hot water? Why is it not flowing? Is it not connected? It's not goddamn connected. Why the hell is it not connected? <laughs> I swear I put that pipe in. <laughs> right. We are getting ever, ever, ever closer. Um, they don't need... I I honestly, I, sh I really, really should set, set up my schedule now. Oh, you naughty bastard. You naughty, naughty bastard. You try telling... And you got that because I saw it. Why do I not have escape attempt solitary and maximum? I will convert you to maximum because, well, you done the crime. <laughs> it doesn't matter that I've changed the law after he's done the crime. He has still committed. <laughs> that's <co> like, <laughs> in reality, that's completely, completely and utterly illegal. Holy crap, it's completely illegal. <laughs> right, while um, while we're waiting for people to pass that, we're going to uh, go and enjoy watching these things get sorted. Because that's always fun to watch. I wonder if I put those bookcases around the wrong way. Because normally you're supposed to be able to see the items on them. Is there actually a way? F is there actually? Do they have a direction? I don't think they do. <laughs> oh, interesting. You used to be able to see like the whole three tiers of it. Anyway, right. Are these guys. Um, he might pass, he's not going to, he's not going to, he's not going to 
He's not going to. He's not going to. Bollocks! <laughs> if at least can we get one person that passes it, please? No! God damn it! Balls! Well, ladies and gents, we have expanded our prison. We've got our workshops up and running. We have a shop up and running. Next thing to do will be getting uh, all this done with uh, the permanent punishments and getting our tasers rolled out in the next episode. As always, ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support. And I will see you on the next episode of Sentencing to Straight Jacket.